These are the top 10 Paris autograph stickers I'm buying in CS2. Paris stickers might be one of the best opportunities we have right now as investors, so I thought I'd make a list of the Paris autograph stickers I'm going to be slowly stocking up on over the next couple months. So let's get straight into it. Sitting up at 10th place for me is the Techno Hollow. Now I'm not sure if many of you would have picked this to be in your top 10, but I personally think this is a great sticker. It goes amazing with lots of crafts and it's got this really cool effect that the lighting takes advantage of. This stick is also reasonably priced around $1.50 which I think is very undervalued but we'll have to see what everyone else thinks about this sticker. Moving on to ninth place we have the Frozen Hollow. Now I've not heard too many people talking about this sticker. This sticker is currently sitting around $6 which isn't so bad but is slightly more than I'd like so I'd either set some buy orders or just dollar cost average slowly over time. I have not yet bought into this sticker but I do have plans to do so before it's too late. Now sitting up at 8 8th place I've picked the I Am Hollow. I think this sticker looks stunning and it's such a unique sticker. It's also Game of Legion's first ever borderless autograph stickers. The only other stickers are from Rio and if you ask me the Paris stickers are a hundred times nicer. Plus if they never make it into another major or the team disbands then this could be their only borderless Game of Legion hollows in existence. This hollow is currently sitting around $5 which is not bad at all. I have personally purchased a couple of these and I do plan to buy into them more as it's such a unique sticker that looks stunning in game and on crafts and the little smile it has is really cool but maybe not as cool as this next one at seventh place we have the suey hollow once again this one is from game of legion so it's their only borderless of its kind and come on just look at that design it's incredibly eye-catching i think he did an amazing job with this autograph it's so unique and it just screams look at me i've also picked up a couple of these but not many it's currently sitting at five dollars which is once again a great price for such a unique but yet well-known sticker. Now, this next position was a tough one for me to pick, but I ended up just going with the Crad Hollow for its standout looks. This sticker has already stood out with its price rising from $2 at the beginning of the Paris sale all the way up to $8.50 right now. That's a 400% increase within the time frame of 3-4 to four months, which is incredibly good for the price to rise that much whilst the 75% off Paris sale was still live and ongoing. For that reason and its standout looks, it's sitting at 6th place. Now, moving on to the top five of picks the KD and Hollow for its wicked design. This stunning autograph has such a cool design and looks so clean in CS2. I think this stick has been getting slightly slept on as I've heard hardly anyone talk about it. It's currently sitting at $6 which is not a bad price for this sticker but I am going to be placing buy orders and dollar cost averaging into it as I don't see the need to plant a ton of money into it as I do not see it pumping or rapidly going up in price. I think this will be a long term investment that I'm going to slowly buy into here and there same with most of these stickers to be honest. Now coming up at fourth place I've picked the Yori Hollow. This absolutely stunning sticker has such a nice effect in game and looks so clean. Also if you didn't notice this sticker has CSGO written on it which is a really cool touch as this sticker was from the last ever CSGO major. So this sticker has the potential to hold a special place in the hearts of CSGO players as it commemorates the last ever CSGO major. With its stunning purple effect and inclusion of CSGO it's definitely a standard option for me. Now we're breaking into the top three. So sitting at third place I've picked the Dexter Hollow. This sticker is truly something special with its incredibly unique signature and its standout effect. This sticker is truly a one for one sticker. It has an awful lot of potential for crafting and I can only imagine what you could do with this sticker and for that reason it's in my top three. Now I've picked this next one because of its unique design and because of how increasingly popular and how liked this player is. So at second place I've picked arguably one of the nicest autograph stickers from a phase player. It's the Ropes Hollow. This design is stunning and already holds the title for the second most expensive gold and hollow sticker from Paris. So it's very clear to see the community really likes this sticker and if you ask me I think it's one of the nicest stickers in the game. It is truly a stunning sticker. Now talking about stunning stickers we have the number one position. For the number one position I've picked the most expensive hollow sticker in Paris. That's the VSM Hollow. There is no other a sticker that looks remotely like this sticker. It has such a clean design with the big dollar sign in the middle of it. Its stunning purple effect just makes it stand out like crazy. This is also Fluxo's first ever set of stickers and could easily be their last, meaning this sticker would be the only ever sticker of its kind to ever exist. And this sticker does give me slight Rocks Hollow vibes. And if it performs the same as the Rocks Hollow, then we can't complain as this sticker went from $5 all the way up to $210 at its peak, which is ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think about this sticker and does it remind you of the Rocks Hollow? Now, super quickly, I have a couple honorable mentions. The first is the JDC Hollow for its super standout design and incredible look in CS2. I have not yet brought into this sticker, but I do plan on doing so as it's just such a clean sticker. I thought I should also mention the Manizi and the Carrigan. The Carrigan has this awesome Batman look to it and could be great for crafts. And the Manizi is currently arguably one of the best players in the game right now, and he is still incredibly young. I think he could have a very bright future ahead of him if he continues to perform well in CS2. Plus his gold sticker is actually the most expensive sticker from all the Paris stickers. So once again, it's very clear to see the community really likes Manizi and his stickers. Now, of course, this is all just personal opinions and speculation. I know there will be many of you that might disagree with this list, so please let me know down below in the comments what you think about this list and what stickers you think I missed out and deserve to be on this list. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to check out either of these next videos as I think you might find them helpful. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.